Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing good. So in this video, let us discuss another internship test experience of mine. So Wipro, I think everybody knows, right? Wipro. So Wipro had come, I think, last month to conduct a internship test. It was called as a summer internship, Wipro Turbo summer internship. So they had uh, shortlisted some candidates on, in the first round. And the criteria to sit for the first round was CGP of at least 6 and 60% uh, in 10th standard and 12th standard, no active backlogs. So first round I cleared, I was shortlisted, there were 18 students who are shortlisted till today. There is no further news as to when the next round that is technical and HR rounds, the next rounds will happen. So there is no news yet. So I thought I'll make this video, otherwise I'll forget what questions they had exactly asked. So I still, now I don't remember word to word, but I think I can tell you what type of questions were asked. So. The platform that was used to conduct the test was uh, Automata. They had asked us to install a browser, if I'm not wrong. Uh, they had uh, given us all the details one week, 10 days ago only. And uh, everything happened smoothly, actually. The process was conducted very well. And uh, I don't think many people faced any problem. Only maybe few would have, but that's fine. So let us come to the test, what was asked in the test. Basically, the test consisted of uh, verbal, re well, verbal uh, reasoning, logical reasoning, English grammar, synonym, antonym, English passages, and quantitative aptitude, simple maths like profit and loss, compound interest, simple interest, work, time, all those concepts. So there were, I think, 15 questions of each category, if I'm not wrong, 10 to 15, you can say, I don't remember exactly. So that was consisting majority of the paper, actually. There were only two coding questions. And there was also one question where you had to write an essay. Basically, they had given a topic like uh, if uh, an employee is uh, found to be uh, cheating with the company, then what should the steps be taken by the people of that company? How should they tackle the problem or something like that? I don't remember the exact words, but you had to write an essay of like 200 words. That was the last question. So that was something different. I'd never uh, experienced that. Like you have to write an essay. Like the last time I wrote something was the English exam, like three, four years ago, three years ago. So that was about the quantitative reasoning, uh, quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning and the writing part. So I will come to the coding questions. Coding questions, first question was very simple, okay. First question was given a string. You had to find out all the indices such that the character at that index is the same as character at the index from the last. That means uh, if you can see a string over here, means like from the left hand side, the starting of the string, if there is a character at any index and the same distance from the end, there is another character. If both of them are equal, we have to count such uh, pairs or something like that. Basically, it was uh, related to string only, okay. It was related to string and it was very easy problem. You can say code chef uh, basic problem. Like the, in long challenge, people who solve like second problem, right? Like that. It was that level, very easy. But second question, that was also quite kind of easy only. There were a lot of datas. Basically, it would be easily solved with the help of STL. You could use map. You had to use like combination of map, pair, set, all these things. The level of the problem was something like code forces level 1300, 400. So it was not that I did not get the logic. Right now, I don't remember the exact words. The problem, the statement itself was so long. I don't remember exactly. There were many quantities. The input data was quite uh, large. There were many quantities. And we had to do something with sorting, greedy, some kind of that approach only. Sorting, greedy, and binary search. These three concepts had to be used. So with STL, you can solve it easily. Lower bound, upper bound for binary search or something like that. I was thinking at that time. But then STL failed. It didn't work only in that browser. I don't know why it was not allowing me to do anything with STL. So C++ STL did not work and uh, I could not find a way how to solve the same problem using any other programming language because I've been practicing C++ STL for a long time. Like, I mean, in the sense, uh, I'm not used to other programming languages. So I felt it was difficult to shift. But the logic I had got, I got the logic how to solve. As I told you, it was sorting greedy binary search combo of these three or something like that. Okay. But I did not get it. Only two test cases passed, I feel. And I did not get the rest. But first question, I got the correct answer. But still, I was shortlisted for the next round. So I want to give a message over here saying that, uh, you know, if a particular question you're not able to solve, uh, although you got, a lo got the logic, don't lose hope. You can still get shortlisted for the next rounds. I'm not giving you guarantee that the company will definitely select you. That is not there. Even I am not yet selected, right? So I just want to say that don't lose hope because if something is tough, maybe it might be tough for everyone or maybe the way they consider you for selection is different. They might check your resume or anything. I, I don't know. There is no specific thing. But just don't get disheartened and uh, stop preparing. That's all I would say. Like uh, continuously keep uh, reading whatever you have to make projects and focus on other things uh, related to software development if you want this job, this kind of job. So that's all I wanted to say uh, for uh, the programming questions. For logical reasoning aptitude, I think uh, you can refer to any online. Actually, I did not even uh, prepare for it. The English part, maybe some of you might find it tough, but because uh, I had done those things earlier, 
it was not so tough for me basically the passages were given and we had to answer the questions according to the passage you had to read the passage and uh, some answers were not directly uh, can, could not be directly found you had to like interpret what the author or the the person who's asking the question what is he trying to convey so that was also there and uh, basic maths i think you can all do it profit and loss i think it's very simple so all in all it was quite uh, easy level only except for that programming question i felt quite bad but still i was shortlisted that was uh, something uh, very new for me so i didn't know why but it's okay i've still not got the internship and i forgot to tell you about the stipend the stipend they are offering if a person gets selected is 15000 per month two months internship but because of this covid situation i don't know when the internships and all will happen because when will we even get a summer break will we even get a break or i don't know how it's actually going to happen so i'm um, clueless right now so let us see what will happen and if i get selected if i go to next round or whatever happens i'll share it with you so that you can also share with everyone and just learn it because people will be very interested in knowing these things so that's all for this video i hope uh, something you got from this please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you're new check the description box there are links over there my playlist linkedin instagram everything is there please do check the description and like the video and comment down uh, how you felt and uh, let me know some different topics that uh, you want me to make videos on okay so thank you for watching till now take care stay safe keep learning keep growing see you stay tuned bye